Parents teach their children that please is a magic word. Oh, Mom, I want a bottle of Coca-Cola. No, Sonny. I want a bottle of Coca-Cola. Oh. Sonny? To get what they want, children have to ask nicely and say, please. That's why it's a magic word. Most languages have a word like please, but they're often used a little differently. So in today's lesson, we're looking at some different ways we use please in English. OK, the first use. Do you want a cup of tea? Oh, yes, please. Be right back. Thank you. So to accept an offer, say, yes, please. Would you like some cheese? Oh, yes, please. Now, here's something interesting. We can also accept by saying thank you. Hi. Hi. Newspaper? Thanks. Hello, Mary. How about a bottle of Coca-Cola? Oh, thank you, Mr. Tompkin. We often say thank you if we're refusing, but not please. Have some more Marmite, Jay. <laughs> no, thank you. So say yes, please, or thank you to accept things, and say no, thank you to refuse. Easy, huh? OK, the next use of please. So you're suggesting that we go Did with the green one? Did you see that pass that yes, went through not the, the gold end zone? One. Incredible. <laughs> Jay, take the call somewhere else. Yes, take the call somewhere else, please. Please is a magic word here because it turns an order into a request. Which phrase is more polite? Well, the one with please, of course. We use please a lot in requests, especially small requests. How much is it? £3.70, please. Oh, OK. Are you ready to order? Another minute, please. Room service, please. Come in. Your attention, please. I have an announcement. Which floor? Seven, please. So we add please to small requests. We might add it to big requests too, but we have other ways of handling them. I'll make another video about them another day. Now, Notice that please comes at the end in these small requests. We can put it at the start too, and it generally sounds more forceful if we do that. Please, stay here with me. Why? You scared or lonesome? Both. Putting please at the start adds emphasis. We might do this when we're begging. Jay. Please, can I have another? No, you've had six already. Vera, open the door. Please open the door. Vera, open the door. Don't use the phone. Listen to me. I don't like you, Robert. Vera, open the door. Please open the door. Vera, open the door. Don't use the phone. Listen to me. I don't like you, Robert. Now there's another situation where we put please at the start. Again, it adds force or emphasis, but it's not begging. Mmm, these candies are great. Oh, please, have another one. Thanks. When we're inviting people to do something, we can say please. Come in. Oh, hi, Vicky. Please sit down. Thank you. Uh, uh, please come and see me, Mrs. Bailey. Oh, I'd love to. And you, Lieutenant. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Nice to meet you. Now, there's a little difference between American and British English. 
linguists have found that British people, like me, say please more often when they make routine requests, like ordering food in a restaurant. Anything to drink? I'll have a Coke, please. And I'd like an iced tea. British people say please more in this situation. Are we more polite? No, it's just the customs are different. In American English, it's perfectly polite to skip the please here. Hi there, fellas. Howdy. Two bottles of Coca-Cola coming up. Let's look at another restaurant conversation. Are you ready to order? Yes, I'd like a hamburger. Would you like french fries with that? Please. Sure. So there's another use of please. Sometimes we use please instead of yes. Oh, can I give you a hand with that? Please. Where would you like it? Over there. Sure. So let's review. Please is a magic word because it can turn an order into a request. We can also use please to make and accept offers and invitations. We generally put please at the end of requests and at the start of invitations and offers. If we put it at the start of a request, it adds emphasis. It sounds like we're begging, please do it. Okay, now what about putting please in the middle? Well, that's possible too, but be careful. Now I want you to look carefully at this. July's numbers are up. Excuse me, could you please concentrate on these figures? Sorry. So sorry, Rachel. Please in the middle of a request is unusual or marked. It can signal extra politeness, but usually it signals you're annoyed. What's annoyed? It means a little angry. Well, will you please hurry? I gotta be at the airport in 10 minutes. I'm going as fast as I can. Well, will you please hurry? I gotta be at the airport in 10 minutes. I'm going as fast as I can. Yes? I've asked you three times. Could we please have the bill? Yeah, yeah. So be careful. If you put please in the middle of a request, and your intonation isn't exactly right, you could signal that you're annoyed. In fact, we sometimes use please on its own to show we're annoyed. <laughs> Jay, please, I'm trying to work. And that's it. Now you know how to use please in English. If you've enjoyed today's lesson, please share it. And make sure you subscribe to our channel so you catch all our future videos. Until next week, bye.